Russia deployed thermobaric grenade launchers to Chasov Yar, Ukrainians launched a counter-attack. After finally capturing the ruins of Avdiivka, Russian forces set their sights on another eastern target, the industrial town of Chasov Yar, which had a pre-war population of about 12,000. Now, there are heavy battles there. According to Forbes, Chasov Yar is vulnerable because it is located on the very edge of the contact line west of Bakhmut and is dependent on a canal with two easy crossings. Its easternmost region is even more vulnerable. Chasov Yar should have been easy prey for the Russians, but it became a trap for them with battles of attrition. They achieved significant success, but at a cost of thousands of casualties. Ukrainian losses are significantly less. Russia's strategy in the months-long battle for Chasov Yar is clear. With intense close air support, Russian troops from the 200th Arctic Motorized Rifle Brigade, 299th Air Assault Regiment, 11th Air Assault Brigade and other units attack the canal area to gain a foothold for a direct attack on the center and also attacked the village of Kalinino to put pressure on supply lines in Chasov Yar. The Russians are not good at this tactic, and even the recent deployment of Russian thermobaric multiple launch rocket systems TOS-1 and TOS-2 in the Chasov Yar sector has not significantly changed the balance of power. The 41st Mechanized Brigade, 241st Territorial Defense Brigade and the Presidential Brigade are in control of Chasov Yar, the canal area and Kalinino. In recent days, the Russians managed to briefly push the Ukrainians back into Kalinino, but the Ukrainians counterattacked despite heavy shelling. The Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies is pessimistic, in particular regarding the canal area. The enemy will soon capture the canal area in Chasovoy Yar since its advanced units have taken the main position around this part of the city, the center noted. In fact, one of these positions was in Kalinino and Ukrainian counterattacks destroyed it. Apparently, this happened after the center published its battlefield assessment report. Part of the problem for the Russians is that they were counting on a VE day offensive along the Russian-Ukrainian border north of Kharkov to draw Ukrainian units away from the eastern battlefields to weaken defenses around towns like Chasov Yar. But they were replenished in time with American ammunition, the Ukrainians were able to bolster their northern defenses and stop the Russian advance without weakening much of their eastern defenses. Meanwhile, a growing shortage of armored vehicles and the slow disintegration of the Russian military's basic training system forced poorly trained Russian troops to storm Ukrainian positions on foot. Ukrainian troops intercepted and destroyed two Russian Iskander K cruise missiles and two UAVs on Thursday, Commander of the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Lt. Gen. Mykola Olshchuk stated. In a post and Telegram app, Olshchuk revealed that the Iskander K missiles were destroyed after they were used to launch an attack on Ukraine's Dnipropetrovsk region from the territory of Russian-held Crimea Peninsula. In addition, around midnight, Russians used four unmanned aerial vehicles in the northern direction of the front. Two of the drones were intercepted and destroyed by units of mobile firing groups of the defense forces in the Chernihiv region, and two more ceased to exist, Olshchuk said. Ukraine's air defense forces also shot down two Russian missiles in Dnipro on June 4. Furthermore, 
General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces reported that Air Force's missile and artillery units hit five Russian manpower clusters, four air defense systems, an artillery system, and two ammunition depots in the past 24 hours. Earlier, Ukraine reported that it struck the S-300, S-400 air defense systems in Russia's Belgorod region across the border from the Kharkiv war zone. The attack was launched with the use of US-made HIMARS, high-mobility artillery rocket system.